This is a HeadGum Original. Uh, <laughs> and it's only because I couldn't figure out the audio. <laughs> How do you guys define art? Weird and for uh, in person, because <laughs> this obviously isn't it. Yeah, the pillow thing was weird, but I feel like this is a bad energy for an in person record, which which is rare. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, and it's supposed to be exciting. No, I'm having a good time. No, you're not. I'm how do you define <laughs> art? Yeah, how, no, I'm saying how do you because it's art subjective. Yeah, how do you define art? To me, art is, I guess, any creative expression. So it could be video, it could be audio, it could be, you know, painting, it could be spoken word. It could be a podcast. It feels like you had an agenda. <laughs> for, like, Amir was answering the question, and yeah. you were, like, on his fucking heels. You well, wanted to interrupt. The agenda was the means. Like, I have no end that I'm trying to get to. Okay. Uh, what I, I'm trying to, like, lead you guys to saying this is art. How okay. Otherwise. You're, you're, so you you want us to say that this podcast is art? You're not I, curious about our opinions about anything. You just need to hear that your podcast is art. I'd also like to hear your opinions before we get to that conclusion. Art can be bad, so this could be bad art. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Art is subjective. I think Is that gum on your laptop? Well, I didn't have time to toss it. Just loosely on the side of the trackpad. If you're watching on YouTube, comment below if you think this is art. <laughs> 48 minutes of silence. <laughs> um, you're in LA. Yeah. You got a haircut. Yeah. Um, what else is new? Um, I have a wrist brace. Yeah, okay, what happened? You're always injured. This is this is the tendonitis <laughs> that I was talking to you guys about. You really would think Amir would be the one who's like physically fragile. Yeah. Interesting. But also you take less risks. That's right. true. Jake does more, so he's more prone to being yeah. hurt. I, I think I'm actually pretty sturdy for the amount that I do. And I, I, all I have is tendonitis. I mean, that's pretty. Well, you also have tinnitus. Soft. Yes, I have tinnitus. <laughs> Ringing in the ears. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I have a slip disc. That's kind of unrelated to anything you do. You just slept weirdly or something. Yeah. I, I still have no idea what caused it. That's really frustrating. Yeah. But it's feeling better already. I uh, took a blood test last week. I have a high bilirubin. That's not good. Yeah. That's really dangerous. Bile. Over time, yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's liver like a disease. Liver thing. I'm imminent. Is yeah. this true? Uh, not the liver disease part. I hope, but it's it was one of the um, results that were like flag it for being too high. Yeah. How did I, you know about that? Did you get that? Something? No, my my mom. Oh, really? Had some, yeah, health issues. I, I feel bad now because I sort of like have been experimenting with black magic. I went down to New Orleans. Last the dark fall, arts. Yeah. To, <laughs> wish you ill mm -hmm. and make it thus. Didn't you have a voodoo doll? Yeah, I did. I, I ended my up liver. making like, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I, I meant to make like a puppet. Yeah. Because yeah. there, there was like some episode you couldn't make it on and I was going to like, right. you know, like be like, a a a a a a a you know, yeah, like I would have nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> but what ended up happening was I realized that I kind of pricked it. Okay. And then you texted me. You were like, I have high Billy Rubin. Where did you hit it? In the liver, yeah. Yeah, it was so instant. Yeah. But yeah, I guess it's, uh, could be not a big deal or it could be like an indication of a bigger deal. So I guess if I mm. should pass away in the not too distant future, just let it know that early on in my tenure of being 39 plus, I had high Billy Rubin. So maybe that's something you can look into if it's a mysterious type. Right, and the autopsy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I, do you think, how many people do you think comes to your funeral? Ooh. I don't want it to be a big deal. Right. Are you saying well, that you're like not really in charge? Yeah. yeah. Once you're dead, I would fucking blow it up. Yeah. Because I need to do something. Excuse me if this is a little uncouth. I, I need said my. Anything. I didn't yeah, I you. need my income mm -hmm. to go up from that. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> so you want to like commercialize that. it? Amir's death absolutely drives Patreon subscribers. Yeah. I turn the whole thing into like an in memoriam of yeah. him. Brought I need to, you to by monetize. Like Talago. Right. Yeah. Seltzer water. Um, I'd monetize your death so. In that way, the funeral would be a parte. Yeah, um, you'd have to be. Yeah, you'd have to yeah. be a Hatreds subscriber to, right. to attend. To attend, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. What There'd be different tiers. Excuse me. There'd be different tiers. Excuse me. 
tears for the funeral. If you want to tears sit for in a, tears, you actually monetize <laughs> the tears. Right. If you want to cry, you have to be on the master level. Yeah. Level tier. Eulogize the bitch for a hundred dollars a month starting now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. That's really smart. <laughs> Thanks. We should fake my own death, actually. Yeah, but then I'd have to split the money with yeah, you. Yeah, and that's fraud. Mm. That's the mm. other thing. It's fraud. And yeah. you're a fraud. That's my other fear, is that how do you get people to pay? Because mm -hmm. I feel like people would want to pay just to be like, oh, Jake's putting on this funeral. Right. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's definitely. pretty choice. Right. The issue being the subject is still, it's still him. I think it's, that's interesting. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are making really vague small talk, so it wasn't interesting. <laughs> I don't even remember what he said before. Do you? <laughs> At this juncture, no. <laughs> <laughs> she or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Yeah, you're in charge of the thing. <laughs> up, up, up. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, let's see what we have prepared. We we, we do have um, we do have something that uh. You said uncouth, and that yeah. was a little bit of a Chekhov's gun, because I think I've prepared what might be the most uncouth bit ever on this show. Jesus, really? Yeah. It's it's You've for later. Prepared some very uncouth bits. I believe so, once we were talking about like our fetishes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how many uncouth. people we've slept with? How much money we have? How a many lot people of have cash? You, you dox a lot of people. He slept with seventeen. Mm. Is that true? Uh, probably not. I don't know if it's higher or lower. <laughs> <laughs> the odds of it nailing it like that it's are rare. one in 12. <laughs> and 12 was so there are 12. Yes, yeah, 12 is okay. the Let's go into our bond of the week. This is... Oh, um, I always forget about this dumbass segment. I'll go ahead and do a self-bond. Me. Why? I think I have what it takes. I like fast cars and fast women. <laughs> I sorry, slow I, cars I, I and fast I, women. I think I know a British accent, then, mate. You drive and, an SUV and you're married. Yeah, but I have my proclivities. Towards... Is every bond bond British? Uh, yeah. If I don't have to be, but it goes <laughs> out to at least be able to do the accent, then. Yeah, I guess. Um, there was a Scottish bond. For sure. <laughs> Roger um, Moore's. But I think it's time they had a bond from Connecticut. That's cool. Yeah. Once my wrist heals, then I think I could right, definitely be Right, that's my issue. Because like Daniel a, Craig did a lot of his own stunts, yeah. and I'm worried. He like, has to wear a watch. Because if, if you get a sprained wrist, yeah. that halts production. Totally. $200 million. He can't even shake total. someone's hand without feeling I can pain. shake right hands. I yeah. see. Yeah, so you yeah, can do I'm it fine. on the left. Yeah. And actually, I could do the whole movie with just my left arm off screen. That's pretty good. Anyway, me is my bond of the week. Um, would you want to be the villain in that movie? That's the, I would watch that. Oh, that's funny. Sort of like a Bond mm. comedy of sorts. You have a cat on your lap. It bites you. That's cute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> An Inspector Gadget style reboot. Yeah. Uh, I would probably go Matthew Broderick if we're staying in the Inspector Gadget oh, that's sphere. Cool. Math Matthew Bonderick. That's good. Yeah. That's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like Skyfall, No Time to Die or whatever, and then Matthew Bondrick. So that would be the name of the <laughs> right. one. <laughs> yes. It would be a gadget slash bond, which Inspector Gadget is kind of a, a James Bond style. Yeah. Also, he has killed somebody. Yes, that's, that's right. In real life. Yeah. So I feel like he has killed Vehicular like manslaughter. Instinct. Yeah. Yeah. Although I don't think Bond kills anybody. Yes, he does. Yes, all the You're time. You're thinking of Batman. No. Yeah. Batman doesn't kill anyone. That's what it is. Yeah. Casey, Batman has one of the week. Um, let's get one of the Stranger Things kids in there. Mm. Gaten Matizano or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. A 14-year-old Bond. Yeah, Baby he's bond. young. He could do a bunch of them, you know? He could do 60. Mm. That's smart. That's smart. They really shouldn't be hiring like another. What? How old was Daniel Craig when they hired him? He was kind of older, right? I think he was like 40, yeah. 40? Yeah. 38. No. He's got to be older than me when he first did James Bond. No, Skyfall or fucking Casino Royale. I'm as old first, as James Bond. Bond. Yeah. Doesn't feel right. I'll say 46. Do you think James Bond ever has like high Bill Rubin? No way. Or like fucking. He uh, takes medicine for that, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. He's on a statin for sure. Right. Lowering his. Wow. What if Bond has Gilbert yourself? syndrome? <laughs> That's I don't what, what it's called is. when you have elevated Billy Rubin. Gil Bear syndrome. <laughs> I'm actually due for a physical. I wonder how my Billy Rubin is. 
Probably good. It's cool good. because it just sounds like a friend of yours. Like, Gil how's Jenner? my Billy yeah. Rubin? Jeff <laughs> Rubin's son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Billy Rubin. <laughs> You're looking for the applause? Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> Careful of the gum. Scrolling, scrolling. It's funny to see how the sausage is made. I have access. Nice. That should be easier for you to find. <laughs> no, I know where that one was, but I was wondering if I might hit him with an... Up, come up beside it. Very yeah. good. I feel like you. there's so many on this board that, that I never use. Right. You have to only need that bottom two rows, right? That's almost exactly right. right. I mean, I haven't even used this one in so long. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Uh, let's talk <laughs> about some news of the day. Nice. Uh, is there a nutritional difference between cantaloupe and watermelon? What do you guys think? <laughs> That's the news of the day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even say my bond of the week. Father, son. Huh? Who? There is no better choice for bond than the bond of father and sons god damn it so it's like james and tavin he's tavin he's like his daughter (laughs) so not a son yeah 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 your one example didn't fit james wants his kid to be able to like figure out their own it's funny because this is dumb and boring but the next thing that we're gonna go into is is is, is water that's actually it's watermelon and cantaloupe first i see yeah and then it's the uncouth thing yeah so there's actually no reason to drive the show forward either i will say cantaloupe has more carbs (laughs) okay Okay. for 100 grams is this about a 0.6 difference of carbs for 100 grams. So for 100 grams of the fruit, there's 0.6 more carbs, grams, in cantaloupe. Mm-hmm. That's why it's a little more juicy. Uh, yeah, all right. I don't think it's more juicy, actually. <laughs> Jeez, I won't even <laughs> give you denser. that small amount. Yeah, it's more fibrous. Army yeah. Hammer resurfaces in Los Angeles after his lawyer debunks the claims that he's working at a Cayman Islands hotel. He he was, though. That's been proven. Okay. Are you sure that was actually proven? Well, he... he he didn't work there, but he was there. And then he was friends with the staff. And then the staff were like, oh, this would be funny if we put Army on like a pamphlet. Okay. So he did work a day doing that. Yeah, but there, I think the narrative was like, he felt he's so, so canceled, so so poor now that he's selling timeshares. But that was, he like came from, he's, he's old money rich. Yeah. He's not, he's going to be fine no matter what. Yeah. And now he's back in LA. Yeah. Um, so let me know if you spot Hammer. Brett Goldstein didn't even tell his mom he was in Thor Love and Thunder. That's he, fine. Who really? is that? <laughs> <laughs> he put, he's on Ted Lasso. He's like the guy. He's like, what's oh, the name? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Um, Luke Bryan celebrates birthday with family. Doesn't matter. You're just copy and pasting like a Google <laughs> News Alert. <laughs> Sponsored thing. links at the bottom of an ESPN homepage. <laughs> There's a lot of news of the day, and I'm trying to parse through and figure out. It's not news of the day. One of them is just that a country star hung out with his dad. (laughs) This is like really bad targeted shit, like clickbait towards you. I'm trying to say there's so much news. Yeah. And I'm trying to distill it down to what I think everyone needs to know. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Jimmy Fallon makes a summer salad and his amazing daughters. That's nothing then. He made a salad. Summer salad. (laughs) Who cares? He said, well, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. That's His fine. amazing daughter said, this is the best thing I ever tasted. It's a recap he of a TikTok or something. Wait. Hmm? It's what? There's what, do you recapping. want a deeper dive? No. Yeah, I do. I will, tell me that headline because it didn't make a lot of Jimmy sense. Jimmy Fallon makes a summer salad with his... with his amazing daughters. Best thing I've ever tasted. I see. Okay. Uh, the late night talk so show. This is just, it's a little too effusive because the summer salad is, a, is the best thing he ever had, and his daughters are amazing. Mm-hmm. It's like, choose one. Well, he's you enjoying a great salad with labor. your fine daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he was with Winnie Rose and Francis Cole. Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to just enjoy the meaning. You have to enjoy. You have to enjoy the segment. No, because then he goes deeper into it, and we want to know great. less. Then we don't have. We're not. We're gonna end up talking about like our <laughs> cock sizes at some point in the uncouth segment. How big are you guys' cocks? Have you measured? I yeah, I guess let's talk about Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> strawberries then. He made a recipe from French chef Jacques Pepin. <laughs> Six and a half. My dick. Yeah. Do they have? Yeah, I'm not sure. Do they have? a list of the ingredients 
Let's, I'm curious if we could, I, if we could bring it full circle with the uh, the watermelon and the cantaloupe. Yeah, I don't want to get too deep salad. into it. But when you think of a summer salad, is that strictly fruit, or you think it's like one of those salads that has blueberries in it? I'm gonna guess Mir's five. Is about you that grates me like yeah. five hard. Yeah, and then five hard, five S- inches hard, seven <laughs> soft, seven soft. That's what I was saying because it yeah. condenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not a shower or a grower. He's mm-hmm. a I guess shrivel. <laughs> yeah, shriveler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So You're I sure. wonder if there's blackberries in it. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> um, grate some lemon. He doesn't even use a measuring cup. Uh, <laughs> I mean, then God. how is it a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's sort of like the French way of cooking. You don't have a recipe. He's sort of handfuls of, yeah. Sorry for actually There's sort of handfuls of stuff. Where you like, <laughs> so, wait, oh, yeah, there, was, was there, there was what a zest of a lemon grated a lemon. He did end up zesting a lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't look too. Was there any other? What was what the zestimate of... on that lemon too? Because prices are going up, right? What was yes. the roughage in that salad? Was it cabbage, kale? Yeah. Leaf? What's the base, or is it strictly fruit? We've exhausted my knowledge of this article and the article itself. There, was, that was all it said. And you uh, are. I mean, exhausted. if you want to talk about Luke Bryan's birthday, we can get into that. I don't a know who Luke more. Bryan Let's is. See where it happened. He's a uh, country star. He's forty-six. Um, What's your age? No. And uh, no, he was goofily dancing around the house. That's it's, funny. It's fine. What's that? It's fine. It's not. So funny. they just report <laughs> on people's. Instagrams and Twitters and TikToks. That's yes. basically it, right? Yeah. They, so yeah. It's like, they well, that, look this at is viral ABC posts. News. Right. They look That's at viral This is ABC News. Got it. Yeah. We're all going to hell, I guess. Yeah. Faster and faster. In a handbasket. Yeah. That's really good. We're going to hell in a bucket. That's yeah. really good. Um, all right. Well, we should take a break because I Why? do want to get to this uh, segment that might take a little bit longer and put you guys on the, even more the edge of your seats. <laughs> okay. I can't talk it up enough. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one. What song is this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Guys, how well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one for your entire life? Well, that's how our brain works. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps, and there's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. Now, I do therapy every week, makes me a better version of myself, Uh, helps me deal with things in my life that come up because shit happens, all right? In your interpersonal relationships, family, friendships, working relationships, etc., uh, you got to have an objective source. It's incredibly helpful. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's also much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I truly believe everyone who has access should go to therapy, and BetterHelp makes it more affordable and easier to find. Uh, our listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash What's That? Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That? Thanks, BetterHelp. Welcome to <laughs> oh. the Gash Cab. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's hear him out. Uh, welcome to the Gash Cab. Uh, this is... This fucking title card alone is illegal. <laughs> You're... You're canceled. The three of us are canceled for being in this fucking thumbnail. Here's how things are going to go. I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions about gashes. Uh, They start off easy and get harder as you go. And as long as you answer them correctly, you will win uh, this picture that I drew (laughs) of a gash. Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Did you make that logo or... I made that. Well, it's I took the original one and I just like photoshopped it. Um, wow, it's right. pretty good. And uh, so you turned hard. the C into a G. Yeah. Yes. How is that? But do you see how it's not just like a straight line? It's got like a little serif to it. Right. right. Well, Where did that's, you take that? That's actually why it's actually not good because it's a it's a sans serif. Yeah, font, it doesn't right? match the font. No. Um. Yes. I will. So they will start off easier and then get harder as you go. As long as you answer them correctly, you will win this picture. But three strikes and you're out, and I'll kick you out of the studio. Okay. Right, right now. Great. Um, you can also use one 15 second, uh, on the show, on the real show, it's shout out, but this is going to be eat out. So you can call somebody, uh, and if the call exceeds 15 seconds, that's a strike. 
but it's basically you can phone a friend. Who on earth would I want to call? <laughs> 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 would I exp- oh, yeah, we're playing Dash, Dash Cab. <laughs> <laughs> so this pussy. you'll never believe it. I'm on Dash Cab. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> okay, but that, no more questions about it because we only have 10 seconds. <laughs> Strike. This well, president was the first to use. All right. Um, Do you think these are questions about vaginas or just general? Gashes, yeah, please. Yeah. We don't use that word in this game. Um, why, are you, why are you displaying <laughs> the fucking... Because on, the the, on, the, on the real show, it's like showing how much money they made, but yeah. there's no cash involved. This thing, cash that involved. is crude in two ways. Yeah. It's, it's just weird. leaned against the wall, piece of printer paper with... A ballpoint pen. It's so <laughs> it's low It's crudite effort. <laughs> in two ways. All right, here we go. Uh, starting off with some multiple choice questions. Um, <clears throat> the word gash technically refers to A, the entirety of the vaginal anatomy, B, the exterior of the vaginal anatomy, C, the canal that connects the uterus to the labia minora, or D, the tube that urine flows out of freely, I might add. <laughs> this is... I think it's. I got it narrowed down to the first two. It's what, the first the two other... is the whole entire thing, <laughs> yeah. And the second one is just the outside. <laughs> yeah. I would think it has to. You know, it's. You would think it's the whole thing because it's more about the inside. I think the gash. Yeah, but. I'll just go ahead and say outside because it, the inside includes the like the you know too much <laughs> too much <laughs> anatomy for it to be encompassed in such a crude word. So I'll say the outside. Let's hear if he was right. <laughs> the correct answer is the canal that connects no, the uterus doesn't. to the labia minora. The canal. That's the vagina. Is the canal, but nice. the gas. The vulva is, is the entire exterior. Um, here we go. How should the gash? I'm annoyed that I'm a little ashamed that I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this is twofold funny because some of these are kind of hard. Uh, how should the gash be cleaned? Uh, I should also say that there's supposed to be a timer on these. So here we yeah. go. Yeah. Um, so what I'm saying, this is a low, low brow, low concept, and you did. I think and this you is did kind a, lo- of high a low concept. effort for you know, kind of like for going after it. So I, I could have done more, but this is, I would say this is guy high, high concept. Yeah, here you go. This is high concept. <laughs> low brow. Low brow. How should the gash be cleaned? A, you should use soap and water that in, <laughs> yeah, inside. Don't worry, I'm not looking at the answer. <laughs> you should use soap and water inside your gash. B, you should use douches regularly. Uh, do you guys know regularly? He was like stand up in the eighties. <laughs> Stan Lee's normal's cousin. Um, C. The vagina is self cleaning and does not require you to clean it. Self cleaning. D. You should rinse it once a day. <laughs> <laughs> Your last one felt too casual. I'll go douche regularly. I agree with him here, but I'm just gonna guess uh, rinse so I can leave. It is self cleaning. <laughs> What's funny about that? That one's kind of... (laughs) Whatever. Uh, You both have two strikes. Is it really self-cleaning? Yeah. What are you talking about? Actually, if you douche too regularly, I think you can actually injure yourself. Too regularly? Not injure, but it can like upset the the bacterial, the pH balance and stuff. Also, don't take anything... Take everything we're saying with a grain of salt. None of us have It just has the energy of a like, oh, you don't need to wear deodorant or you don't need to wash your hair to me. You don't need to do those things. Yeah, I think you do, but go on. (laughs) (laughs) I think you do. You especially do, actually. All right. How long is the average menstrual cycle with specific regards to gashes? Sorry. A, five days. B, 14 days. C, 21 days. Or D, 28 days. It's 28. You're, I just realized that your brother is a gynecologist. Yeah. We, we, we should be calling him. No, that I could be like your, can out. you call Dr. Blumenthal? <laughs> can you eat out Dr. What is his name? I, <laughs> yeah, I already know the Yeager? answer. Yeah, the answer is D. It's 28. Correct! 
Correct! All right, this is bringing us to our first challenge. On the normal show, it's the red light challenge, but this one's going to be the red briefs challenge. Mm. Um, so, and... Th <clears throat> God, you're embarrassed. I'm, I'm having a great time. All right, in 30 seconds, uh, you have to name uh, nine synonyms for gash. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. 30 seconds on the board, and we are starting There's now. Vagina. Correct. Pussy. Got it. <laughs> no uh, slit. Ew. Got it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, coochie. Yes. Um, God. Twat. Yes. <laughs> Three more. Do you have any that I'm missing? I have one. <laughs> Say it. Box. Got it. That's two good. more, two more, two more. Casey? Keep me out of this. Okay. <laughs> That's two eight. more. Oh. Oh. I wish I didn't say mine. You didn't win uh, a pair of red briefs. I forgot that that, that was the, the prize. Yeah. I guess that's fine. Did, what, did we miss any famous ones? Uh, you missed, and this is uh, Snatch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, gumbo Pot. No, no, uh, Muff. Oh, Beaver, yeah. Coos, Co uh, and uh, Muff. Did you I said Muff, Muff twice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would have accepted it twice. <laughs> I would have taken it twice. Um, Once with three Fs. Back to our regular scheduled programming here. Um... Oh, I, Again. Was, I thought for a second the segment was over, but it's just back to the uh, back show. to the original gash cab. You both have two strikes. I really want you to make it to the end so you can win this uh, picture of a yeah, gash. No interest. True or false? The average menstrual cycle is, of a gash is twenty-one days. False. So we just <laughs> dumbass did that one. Yeah. Obviously. I forgot to take that one out. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't have to read it. True or false? On average, the average gash loses <laughs> six to eight tablespoons of liquid volume during a period. The keep in mind it's pretty specific. Yeah. True. Correct. Our uh, last one. True or false? PMS stands for premenstrual syndrome. I believe that's true. Jake? I think it's true also. Correct! <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys have won this uh, <laughs> drawing of a gash. But before we go, there you can either take this or you can double or nothing get two photos that I drew of a... What did you say? Slit? I didn't say that. <laughs> you did. Again, you can go home with this or you can double down with our video bonus round where I'm going to play a very short clip and you just answer one question about it. Uh, did you I'll just draw, take, I'll just did take you draw the it one. from memory or did you look at a vagina when you did that? From memory. That's awesome. <laughs> from memory. <laughs> nice. That's a home montage, actually. <laughs> yeah. This, these uh, are boobs. I want to see the video. Yeah, segment. let's do it. All right. They're doubling down. Just because this doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my yeah. God. What yeah. word best what describes fuck? this body part doing? shown on camera? <laughs> oh my God! What body? What word best you describes you this sicko. body part? Did you do this just because? Did you do this segment because there was no women on this show? <laughs> would, no, I would, would have done have, it if Marika showed up or anyone. Would have, Oh, Jesus Christ. There's people, there's somebody at Marissa's the door. Watching. Marissa's walking out, obviously. She quit. <laughs> what word best this describes such this a body part studio. shown on camera? I actually didn't see it. Can you see the show again? <laughs> well, now I don't want to. <laughs> you shouldn't have wanted to before. I didn't. I just had to push the envelope. It's the gash cab. No. <laughs> the thumbnail was over what you want us to see. <laughs> this is such a simple question. What word best describes this body part? You want, it to, you want us to say gash? Correct! You guys are going home! With both pictures With of- With both pictures yeah. of uh, gash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One each. 
One ETH. <laughs> yeah, one, and one ETH. What is it at? A thousand? Uh, more. Fifteen hundred, actually. Mm, not yeah. bad. Um, where do we go from there? I'm, um, I'm very sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The fruit salad recipe was more offensive, I think. Jack Pepon. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. I thought that that was going to take 20 minutes. And how long? Like 13. So we're a little short. We're 15 minutes short mm. of the day. Yeah. Without, and you like, are anything, out of segments. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. This yeah. becomes a wax episode. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just wax? Yeah. Because we, yeah. I feel like we did that a little bit at the top. I feel like that broke the ice. Well, here's yeah. something about the show I wanted to bring up. People have been complaining that the levels of the audio are off ever since Ferris left. Have you heard that complaint and would you agree with it? I've read that complaint. I haven't heard an episode <laughs> since. I don't listen to the show after it gets put out. Got it. And um, do you think there's a lack of quality control there because you don't listen to the show? And then what happens is it kind of slips a little bit when Ferris leaves. <laughs> well, it's you know, it's hard because like I trust Grayson yeah. with my life. Right. But did you tell them that note that people had? Because the I guess some of the uh, like the intro and audio, intro and outro audio are a little louder than the rest of the episode. Really? Maybe Ferris equalized, normalized the audio and Grayson hasn't been doing that. This feels like something that should be discussed over Slack. Well, it could be a interesting peer behind the curtain to see what if Slash anything, peer review. Yeah. Yeah. Um well, I mean, Grayson's going to be editing this, so I guess he'll, uh, it'll hurt his feelings and then he'll get past it. Uh, <laughs> it's not a hurt his feelings or yeah. not thing. It's just like, uh, is there something that Ferris did that we're not doing anymore? Um, I don't know. I don't know what he did. I used to, send, <laughs> I, I used to uh, assemble the track, so I would cut out anything I wanted to cut out, mm -hmm. time it, it, sync it, et cetera. Then I would send him all the tracks and he would just work it. Don't out. ask a follow-up question. I'm quite bored. The Ferris cut this out. Do you ever actually cut those out or is those jokes that are to be left in if i say it historically back then if i said ferris cut this out i didn't want him to cut it out and then there would be things that i would just flag of like that can't be in the episode and i would just edit that out i mm. see yeah anything from this episode do you think it's not well i'm gonna blur that yeah right. probably more than a blur black bar probably yeah <laughs> black bar sitting on top of a gas <laughs> no all over the entire thing really yeah so no legs <laughs> the entire yeah. blacked out yeah the whole show has no legs of course um sexual bucket list 2021 20, to 2022 sorry 2022 to 2023 okay so this year next casey do you ever think about sex in terms of like a sports season no i i've never have really I also have never a sports really? season. Yeah. I think that's quite unhealthy, Jeff. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like to be like, oh, like how do you win the chip? Right. Mm -hmm. You keep stats and stuff like that. Yeah. But what's what's the off season? The off season is like <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's been in the off season since high school. <laughs> Jeff's on strike. <laughs> the league folded. It's a fucking lockout. He's been relegated. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this all takes place over the dating app, the league. Mm, it's just oh, like um. No, the off season is like those probably six weeks a year where you don't get any by accident. <laughs> Slash purpose. Um, and you can make <laughs> trades. Really? Yeah. So what's an example of a trade you can make in your sexual season or off season? Uh, you know, swinging mm. for the fences. <laughs> um, what about you? <laughs> 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 sexual goals for the year yeah um i don't i mean they're private they're private why do people <laughs> think this <laughs> why <laughs> wait what's happening hmm. Hmm? i'm here put on sunglasses like he's about to reveal something he's trying to do with that five inch cock <laughs> let's talk about it man <laughs> High five <laughs> for my it guy. Wasn't. <laughs> for what? For what you're about to share. You put on, you popped on sunglasses. I'm just. You got fucking penis plans. I'm trying. And we're down to hear them. I'm just trying to be sort of like in a cool zone right now. Yeah. Like a poker player, like puts on sunglasses so you can't read his expression. What are your sexual goals? Goals for 22, 23. Yeah, the season. 
Yeah. Jeez. Shibari. What's that? Like rope bondage. <laughs> Army hammer style. Shibari? Yeah. <laughs> Never heard that word. How do you spell it? S H I B A R I. <laughs> Is it like Japanese? I think in nature, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but etymologically but not, but not in practice. Practice. <laughs> I don't want to know you're, you're, you're freaking out over the actually, etymology actually the sushi of it thing is kind of interesting eating the, sushi off someone's ass I was saying um, <laughs> I want to eat I've always more. wanted to do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that at like if there's like a sex party in like a movie or a TV show there's like a naked person and yeah. there's sushi on them Correct. omakase <laughs> I really trust them <laughs> listen <laughs> When we were at, when What's we were in. What's hotter than having raw fish <laughs> off someone's leg? Um, yeah. I'll I... eat the fish off your body. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I had an egg cake tamago sushi <laughs> off of someone's cake. <laughs> I had a pot sticker off someone's taint. <laughs> How's that? Pot Actually, sticker, have... and I'm a hot liquor. That's I really good. I had a good. dash Thank of you. soy off someone's gas. <laughs> and hi, I'm Roy. <laughs> Do you guys have teriyaki chicken? Uh, Shut up! Shut up, man! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 112 episodes. I've been so patient with him. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Everything you've done has been chipping away at the ice. It's already fucking done, the ice sculpture. Dude, okay. He That's... finally, like, was on board with the whole gash of it all. I was joking around with it. <laughs> he was having a... I brought up the sushi thing, and then I sort of <laughs> yes anded it to the point where I, I thought we were having fun. <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was having fun. I just, sometimes it gets to be too much. What's going on? No, nothing. I just like, yeah. I'm in the off season. What off season? Sex. <laughs> oh, you're in your six week. What accident. I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Is uh, in Arizona, things got kind of wild. People got drunk. Our company retreat. Yeah. I wonder if, like, who at Headgum do you think would have lobbed up to be the sushi platter? We obviously can't answer that. Okay. Because I think it would have been Peter <laughs> MacArthur. <laughs> who? <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. I could see it. If someone's going to do it, Peter. Yeah. He's a freak. Yeah. Yeah. He sort of has a platter mm -hmm. abs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In that in that body sushi thing, is it over rice or is it usually just the sashimi It's over style? ice. I think it's overrated. Over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poke bowl, actually. <laughs> it's spam masubi. <laughs> Why sushi? Huh? Just because it's like single piece. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I do think sushi. You're worried about hygiene. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, here's the thing when you eat sushi, your uh, stomach acid cooks the fish. Uh, while you digest it okay and so that's that sounds rancid to me not sexual but i do think sushi is clean there's no well other than soy there's no sauce but soy i mean how much of a sauce is that <laughs> uh that's no, the I most just... how much of a sauce is soy <laughs> the most sauce on a scale i would say hoisin is like the sauciest <laughs> it gets either hoisin, hoisin or barbecue barbecue i think there's nothing saucier than barbecue yeah yeah barbecue sauce has so many calories in it I also think it tastes foul. Foul? Yeah. Hmm. And I, I wouldn't put it, it, on, a it on a foul. No, I wouldn't put it on a foul. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think a, you could probably do like a pheasant, like a roast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably Forget could do Forget sex a for a second. What about yeah. like a fucking hare? A rabbit to eat yeah. with hoisin? That would be good. What about, yeah. I do really want to do, first of all, let's start with an L.A. show of this show. Yeah. But I, I do want to do a full tour. Um, <laughs> with the fucking <laughs> vagina image well, he, movie that you played for us. So I don't know during, the, you during the low point of this show's history where we're just talking about sauces, that's, that's what makes you come up with the idea. Did this, I ever show you guys this? No. Uh, uh, so, uh, a listener made this. And I really want to do, I would have them, I have one note, I want to do the Joyzen tour, which okay. is Joy, Hoisen, and Poison. Oh, interesting. Um, but somebody made this. Uh, and... Where did you get, where did they get this high-res headshot of you? That's not even a headshot. That was a photo that I, uh, somebody took of me when I slept on the beach. And that, and you were wearing a pink cowboy hat? Yeah, we, uh, it was Halloween. And a pink sweatshirt? Red, actually. So they just and took that from poison your Instagram? Instagram? Yeah, they took that from Instagram. Wow. Uh. Oh. It's funny. It's kind of Harry Styles-esque. I think we could do, I say we do LA, SF, 
Portland, Seattle. <laughs> yeah. Or the opposite uh, order. Okay. Or just fucking a West Coast run. Or just Portland, SF, LA. Yeah. The show's not, this episode's not going well, so it's weird that you have the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't now feel, this isn't like coming off a high. Yeah. It's yeah. like we're struggling to get the to the finish line. You have confidence to hit the road <laughs> yeah. after, after, after making your bosses sauces. play a vagina-based game show. <laughs> after the ones for me a, are the a, ones a, who never yawn. A pornographic video in the studio for all to see. I wouldn't do that at the show. You might. Really? Yeah. I could see you doing that at the show. Yeah, because you like to elicit a reaction. From the crowd, I like yeah. to solicit a right. reaction. We uh, did a we did a live show once. That one did, went really well because I put weeks into it. If we did a tour, you put weeks into that. I put like three days. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> put half a week into it. Yeah, and there was some technical difficulties. Very ma- there were very many technical difficulties. Yeah, not during the show, during before the, the show. show. No, the <laughs> Jeopardy thing. There were technical difficulties. You're like, oh shit, I can't get like the answer choices to like. Oh yeah, didn't go. we realize on stage that the like the Price is Right or, or the um, oh, yeah the rules of the family feud the rules of the family feud we couldn't you didn't know what was behind <laughs> each each thing so we would make a guess and you'd have to say yes or no but you didn't know what each one said until you clicked it and saw what the answer right was. so we would make a guess and you would say uh, yes and then click it and it would be something else. Or vice versa. I didn't know this was your guys' coloring of the memory. <laughs> I thought it went pretty damn well. Yeah. We Borderline had like eight sold people out on stage and we had five mics. So it was kind That's of That's a like, venue issue. We were ill-equipped. We this were wouldn't ill-prepared. Happen on the road. On the road, it would be us two and Amika. Uh, uh, and Amika. And Amika. And I call Marika America because Jeff Rubin once called her. <laughs> oh, and what about America? I'm like. America. Yeah. <laughs> America. America. Uh, um, I like the art. I think if we did smaller venues, I think we do 150 seat theaters. Yeah. We could sell out ev- all three. I think make we some could... cash. Yeah, but not enough to cover the run of the tour. Yeah, that would because be 400 tickets. 150 seats, but you have to travel the entire time. We have to stay in hotels. It'd be four people. You're definitely going to have to pay my fee. Um, Marika's flights, hotels. And, and I don't be... travel in anything less than Delta Comfort Plus, and I won't stay in anything less than a Hoxton or a W. Um, so at the end of the day, we'd probably lose 5K to 10K minus my fee, which is 10K per show. So the it's entire just... tour would cost us close to $50,000. That's before you count And food. this is for us to sell like 98 seats in a 150-person venue in Seattle. That's if we sell out, which we probably won't. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. The I like the... Is... I like oh, the poster. The post- we should actually whoever made this poster. Yeah, I didn't could, do the poster. I'm saying if you could introduce them because they could do they could do like other for a podcast show. art for us or yeah, yeah exactly. for like if any other podcasts go on a live tour. Yeah. Oh, there's like so many good podcasts that could do a live tour. Yeah. Right. Can you think of any? <laughs> well, I was just gonna say High and Mighty used to tour, and we have the same exactly. Numbers. Yeah, High and Mighty would be good. Because Gabrus is, like, is, is a TV star yeah. now. Yeah. Well, now, but back then. Newcomers would be dope. That'd, That'd be, be huge, sick. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Just two incredibly funny hosts with a mm-hmm. sick mm-hmm. following. Mm-hmm. Savage. We could probably sell that yep. out. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, we keeping movies, records with dynamic. Cool. Yep, yeah. Yep. yep. Keeping yeah. records for sure. Good content branded tour sponsored by Voss. What? <laughs> I'm saying we. There's ways. Sponsored we by pay what? For it. Voss. <laughs> yeah. You think Voss would sponsor the Gash? The Joys in Tour. <laughs> Spots. Actually, we could do Kikomon. <laughs> huh? Kikomon. <laughs> what is that? The soy sauce company. They make a hoisin. They do? Ye- I'm engaging with you. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, really? Are, no, I'm just, no, yeah. I'm genuinely concerned that you and Jill aren't cooking with Kikomon. Don't look at me when you talk to him. Are we, <laughs> I use hoisin every once in a while. Yeah. And I use okay. soy. And yeah. Well, at least that's the LA show. Show. Can we yeah. at least do the LA show? That's free, lodging wise. Yeah, yeah. Well, not if you want me on it, because then I'd have to stay in a five star hotel. I'd have yeah, to but fly that's a tax well. write off. Yeah, for the company plus the, the company. fee. The fee. Yeah, but no, I definitely. I'm down to do. I think we should do all of these shows. I don't know if you need to host or if we can just do like a joys and tour. But you're the host, and we have like Gabris or anybody else from the network, because that would be. It like, wouldn't have to be Jeff. Jeff would be on the right. poster, but that's it. 
Yeah. So if yeah. I, I'm on the poster, people think that I'm going to be there when I show up. Not that everybody's that excited for that, but I'm just saying, right. why put me on the poster? But then you don't, sh- you're not at the it show. It actually would be cares. a really funny bit, I think, to do this tour and not bring you and to have all of the audience in on the joke to make it so, like, go so well and be so much fun without you. That's good. That it's like, yeah. yeah it's then kind of, it's this, almost like, like a go fund me, but it's like a go fuck, fuck yourself. You. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. It's, it's a go, go fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that feels like a different tour. That's the go fuck you tour. Yeah. yeah. Sponsored by GoFundMe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sponsored, sponsored, sponsored by, by GoFundMe and Boss. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moroccan Lounge. What about it? 150 seats. Where? Downtown. Never heard of it. You never been to the Moroccan? No. Um, yeah. Or we could do uh, Dynasty. This feels like an email. Yeah. <laughs> this one's an email for sure. And you uh, have emailed about it before. We have, yeah. And then I sort of didn't follow up because there was a lot going on. We're in the midst of talking about a headgum, another headgum live event. Where? At, uh, in October. We're looking. I'll block it. I'll bleep this out. But yeah. 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 Well, you don't have to. I mean, we don't. We're trying to do it in October and November. And we haven't chosen a city yet. What are the, What's the short list? Portland, Seattle, Chicago, New York. Don't do Chicago. We just did Chicago. We did Chicago in 2018. So it was four <laughs> years ago. Nothing goes my way. Yeah. You don't like Chicago? Chicago's fine. I think Chicago's great. In Chicago's fall. great in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want, I mean, Portland, <laughs> Seattle are both on the list. That would be really fun. Why don't we New York is what we just did. L.A. Well, because here's not fucking exciting for anybody. That's true. New York is way more exciting. Let's just LA do New York also, again. Nobody buys tickets in L.A. Because that's yeah. There's too much going on. It's yeah, hard to get around. People are spoiled here. Uh, people, we got to go to Denver. That's where. We, that's where you got to go. Toronto. Why are you laughing at Denver? A lot of people in Toronto. Bay Area. We've never done anything in San Francisco. Canada is a pretty good one. Vancouver, Toronto. Yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, logistically, Toronto. that's tough because you're dealing with like international your DUI. But yeah, you can't exactly. Get into Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then how do you get yay across the border? What's that? Well, how do you get, I what? have a guy up north in that can get London, us London, Ontario. Yes, yes. I can get yip in, in Canada. That won't be the issue. That won't be the issue. Yeah. Uh, no, I think we should do the Bay Area. <laughs> you don't like the Bay Area. <laughs> I do the one now. part of America you dislike. You, know, and now, you want us to go I there. Hate Boston. Interesting. Yeah. But you used to not Boston. like San Francisco. Well, I hated the Warriors enough to hate the city. Mm. But now I've read enough books about, uh, you know, the Merry Pranksters, you know, the Grateful yeah. Dead, Jefferson Airplane. As San Francisco is a great city, but I don't think that's a great show. I think San Francisco is a great scene. Yeah. It's well, a great not place a great to city. be, but not a great place to perform. Okay. <laughs> really? Boston, bad city, but good, to good perform, place to Because everybody's perform. boisterous. Yeah. Boisterous. Everybody rally. in San Francisco is a little too cool for school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're too rich. They're going to Marine County on the weekend. They're not coming to the show. Well, that's what I was saying. We could do it at Sweetwater. Where's that? Mill Valley. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's Bob Weir's uh, music venue. Who is that? He's in The Grateful Dead. Don't look at me. <laughs> You're talking to him. I have nothing to do with this conversation. Because he's engaging with me. I'm, I feel like if I engage with Jake verbally and look at you uh, optically, <laughs> we'll come up to some kind of arrangement. Plugs! What do you have going on? <laughs> you guys have a show next week. Yeah, Montreal. Come to our live Last show in Montreal. Plug it. That's um, right. Tickets at jakeandamir.com, July 27th. Yeah. yeah. At the Les Maisons Theater, mm. uh, folks. So come through. Very fun. We're also hosting an, like one of the The new creators, the new faces. Yeah. I don't know if you're allowed to go to that, but um, if, you're a, if you're a badge holder or a festival goer or something, you are. And you should yeah. come because that'll be, um, it'll be probably weird. So you should come. You it's think Gurkey might show. be there? Huh? You think Olivia Gurkey from Three Arts might be there? Yeah. Oh, I saw Olivia actually. She How was is at, uh, She's good. She's um. She was at Jill's premiere for Fire Island. That's fun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's it. That's our plugs. Um. No more questions about vaginas. No more pontificating about sauces. It's just over. I think. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and actually it's not Daz. <laughs> this episode wasn't Daz, folks. <laughs>